Hey guys, so uh, as you can see from my spectacles here, I'm doing a little detail work today, so I thought I'd make a quick video about what I'm working on. I've been uh, spending some time on the wiring uh, for the TDI and getting uh, the original stock wire harness uh, from the 94 donor truck cut down to size. I'm getting all the plugs labeled so I know what goes where and what's needed and what's not. Um, I've stripped all the unnecessaries out of the harness. Uh, and I've got all my plugs on the 350 here. Let me show you what I got. So here's where I'm at. Um, I, I went ahead and cut the uh, cut the firewall plug um, off of the harness and cut the harness uh, both ends of the wires at the plug because I'm going to have to resize and and uh, shorten or lengthen some of these wires anyway. So. Uh, I figured that was as good a place as any to cut it, and I'll make a make a make use of one of the existing holes in the firewall to run uh, the engine harness through. The uh, body harness is going to go down the other side. The engine harness is going to go down the passenger side. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. Let me get a better. Here we go. So here's where I'm at. I've got my uh, PCM. Uh, plugs here, red and blue, which is for the 94 TBI, 94 and later TBIs, uh, with the 161959595 computer. Uh, I've got all my plugs here, harness plugs, all plugged in to where they go uh, for the various sensors, uh, water temp, intake air temp, uh, IAC, TPS, injectors uh, in the back we've got the oil pressure sender um, knock sensor down on the on the left side of the motor so I've got all that cut up harness pulled apart ready to go back together uh, so I should have uh, the motor mount uh, motor mounts and the cross member for the IFS here should be here shortly um, this week and this weekend I'm going to do a video of all the welding that's going to be involved in putting that IFS in the front of this thing. So once I can uh, get the motor mounts mounted to the IFS cross member then the motor can go back in there and I can start um, adjusting the length of all these harness wires and get an actual uh, actual harness put together. So I've just been kind of doing busy work until then. I'm waiting on the big brown truck right now. So um, what I'm doing right this moment is uh, starting on the gauges and uh, these gauges have been sitting around a while and uh, they need some love so I'm gonna try and uh, try and save them make use of them you know they're 70 70 years old but uh, I think they can be saved hopefully we'll see once we get them open you, you guys will know as soon as I do um, so here's the gauges and as you can see there's not much to see um, the faces of the gauges are completely obscured with rust. Um, this should be our speedo. And I'm not even sure. I'm guessing this is uh, this is attack as well as uh, fuel level and uh, water temp. So they're in pretty rough shape. This is our water temp sender, mechanical. It's got some scale on it. So gauges are pretty rough. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to set you guys up so you can watch as I pull these apart. And we'll see what they look like inside. Hopefully the needles are still there, the faces are good. They're just um, covered by some, by some age. So. I'm going to set you guys up and uh, we're going to tear into them right now.
be Christmas because my FedEx guy is worn out. Look at all the goodies we have here. These are our sweat bag headers. We've got all of our brake components here. This is going to be all of our control arms and bearings. Got the rack and pinion, power rack and pinion in here, spindles, and these are our towers for the coils, which will probably at some point be converted to airbags. So there you have it. It's a nice, uh, nice cross member kit. Um, pretty stoked about this. I'm going to try and get our cross member fitted up here this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm not sure on the width on this cross member, which might be a problem, but um, I'm going to try and sort all that out right now, see where we stand. And we should be making big progress. I'd love to have all the suspension. Uh, back on the truck Sunday. Uh, sorry, today's Thursday. So by this weekend, uh, end of this weekend, I'd love to have all of the suspension on the truck. Um, not necessarily steering, but if I could get uh, the cross member welded in, the A arms mounted up, coil springs on it, um, then we're, we're doing good. We're in good shape. So we'll see how that goes. It'll all be on video. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that all goes well. So I'm going to get back to cleaning up these gauges. I'm going to put you guys back on time lapse so you can uh, watch the progress and uh, see what we run into with these. The gauges look pretty rough. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to save any of them. Um, we may have to uh, come up with a different solution, but we're definitely keeping the overall gauge housing, uh, the glass, and the bezel. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so uh, you saw me doing uh, some cleanup on the gauges. Um, I want to remind you guys, you know, we're not doing a, a full restoration here. If we were, we would probably go with the full uh, brand new restored gauge, which uh, for a 48 is probably pretty expensive. So um, I'm just going to show you the bezel and the glass and how it cleaned up. And I think we're going to run it as is. We're probably going to replace uh, the individual gauges themselves. I don't know if they're savable. We'll see if I can salvage anything from them. Um, but here is the lens lens and bezel and uh, the uh, inner indicator that tells you what each gauge is. Um, I think it came out pretty good and for for the type of project that we're doing here which is kind of a driver, a, you know, a, a little bit ratty custom uh, I think this is perfect. It, it looks great to me. So uh, let me show you what we've got here after a little bit of scrubbing. So here's uh, here's the bezel cleaned up pretty good. The uh, the glass itself is fine. No scratches or chips. And the interface 
looks great. It does, uh, you know, it did wear down a little bit rubbing it with the steel wool, but um, I think the wear kind of adds to the to the character, and it's exactly what we're going for. So I'm really stoked with uh, with how this looks. So I know it may not be your cup of tea, and you know it it isn't a proper uh, proper restoration piece, but. Um, you know, if we were going to restore it, we would strip those things down. They'd all go in the bead blast cabinet or baking soda blast and, and clean them all up and uh, repaint everything and apply new decals and um, all new gauge faces, uh, as well as gauges most likely. But um, this isn't that kind of project. You know, I have to keep reminding myself that we're not doing a restoration here. I could spend thousands of dollars on this, and um, that's not what we're going for. So... Uh, we're going to restore them. We're going to make them work as best we can. Uh, if we can't, we'll leave them in place and maybe go with a different option uh, or an aftermarket gauge. Um, but the way this turns out, it fits the truck perfectly. I'm hoping that the speedometer cleans up as well. Um, and uh, we'll get these mounted up. And uh, I'll test out uh, the gauges and see if I can get any of them to work um, and what my replacement options are and uh, we'll get them back in the truck and keep going with this wiring uh, but I think it's gonna look awesome so thanks for watching uh, you know I'm not sure if you if you learned anything from that but what I am gonna put in the description is the pinout di diagram that I used for the TBI uh, so that if any of you guys are working on a on a later model TBI system it was pretty hard for me to find uh, a, a diagram of, of what the pinouts were uh, for the red and blue plugs on the 94 and later TBI. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and list that here in the description. And uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, please feel free to hit me up and let me know. Uh, and I'll try to answer as best I can. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And uh, keep an eye out for the next video here uh, of the wiring progress as we keep moving forward on the P48 project. And thanks for watching.